Hey Aries, this is your weekly. Take what you need and leave the rest. If you're new to my channel, thank you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Messages for the Aries, please, for their timeless reading. What's going on, Aries? Give me some energy, please. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Ten of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Swords and we have the Four of Cups. You're keeping people away from home. To keep the happy place, to keep your home happy, you're keeping a past lover away from home. Probably kind of still have feelings for this person, but you established in a relationship. But you try your best to keep somebody from your past from coming, knocking on that door, wanting to tap that ass, Aries. See? <laughs> somebody wants from your past wants to come back and hit it. But you happy. You at peace. You got a lover. You got a live-in lover, a husband, a man, a woman at home, and you got this person from your past wants to come back, and you say, you over it. I'm done. Don't come knocking on my damn door. Make one. Mm, Aries. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Oh, somebody. Look, we got the Five of Cups and we got the Moon Choir. You never got over this person. You still think about this person, okay? Queen of Wands. You've even, even contemplated leaving your current lover for this person uh, because you still have a lot of feelings for this person. It's not for everybody. I don't want to hear no BS. So we have the Three of Pentacles and we got the Temperance card. You're really not sure who you want to be with. We got the Star card and we got the Tower card. The Five of Swords. You don't, you're not sure who you want to be with. Okay? You got a lover, a living lover, a partner, a husband, wife, whatever. But then you got this person who you still got feelings for who you want to come back. You're the Queen of Swords. Okay? But then we got the Four of Cups. You got somebody who wants to come in and offer you half. I can treat you happier. I can do better by you, baby, or whoever, however they refer to you. I want to love you. Let me love you. Got the Ace of Wands here. That's penetration. <laughs> they want to penetrate your soul. Mm -hmm. But we got Five of Cups. You never got over this. You're crying over spilled milk, over relationship with them from the past. But Aries, you still have you still have love for this person. Okay? And your partner, the person who you're with now, doesn't realize that you have that you still have these strong feelings for somebody else. And you kind of toggle back and forth in your mind. I wonder if I should ever, I wonder, would I ever go back to so-and-so, okay? You have a star at home, okay? You, you have somebody at home who really loves you, who really cares about you. And I think if you, if you, if you do something to upset your apple cart right now, it's going to devastate your person. Five of, of swords in my readings, you hurt your, this is my hurt feelings card, Okay. If you look at my readings, and if I always come across the, the five of swords, I always say that's your hurt feeling card. So you're going to end up hurting your person's feelings if you pursue this relationship. You're going to end up devastating that person who you're this this caring person who you're with, and you may be with this person, Aries, honestly for monetarily monetary value. They may take care of your home and your children, and that's probably you care about them, you love them, but you don't love them like you love this Ace of Wands here, like you love Mr. Dick. You love that person very well. Or Miss Coochie, take it how it resonates. Okay? You got this Queen of Wands. You have this 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 attraction, this sexual attraction to this person who wants to come back. This person still has your heart. But you're indecisive whether you want to stay with money or get with the loving. And you don't know what the hell you're going to do. Are you going to work on this relationship where you're at now? Your comfort zone? Or are you going to leave the comfort zone? And go for the ace of wands. You don't know. You're so you're so fucking confused. Look, you're so confused that you don't know what the hell you're gonna do, Aries. You gotta make a decision. Can nobody make this decision but you? You gotta make that decision. What you gonna do? Are you gonna leave or are you gonna stay? You don't know what you're gonna do. Who you gonna do it with? But you have a sexual relationship. Somebody who you are chemically tied to sexually. That the sex is off the chain. It's, you still you still have love for this person. Now, how you all broke up, that's between y'all. I don't know. But this person who you're living with, or Papa, <laughs> how you want how you want that's what I'm hearing in my head. How, well, however you want to refer, Papa or Mama, however you want to refer to them, you love them, you care about them. But I think that, that you never really gave your all to this person. And, and at, at the drop of a hat, you probably wanted to leave this situation. But you worked out at it out of pure necessity because you need help with the bills or whatever. 
but you may leave them. You know, it's not for everybody. You may get a come come a phone call from that ex, that that powerful sex, that 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 uh the good the good stuff. But the person that gave it to you real good in the past, they gonna want to try to come back and hit that ass up again. You know, you got a burden right now, a burden of staying where you are with somebody who really you really don't care about like that. And and they they help you, they elevate you to new levels financially, but sexually it ain't it ain't there with them. And and so you, you have a burden of, of hurting them, the person who you're with now, to be truly the person who you really love and care about, who especially sexually that's very important to you. But you you just up in your arms, you don't know what you're gonna do. Okay? You don't know what you're gonna do. Because you don't wanna hurt that person who's who's been taking care of you all of this time. And you have a decision to make, Aries. Um, love the one you're with or get with the person you really, really love. It's purely about sex. Not saying that, that you don't care for that person sexually. Not saying that at all. You know, but but I think that you're going to end up devastating the person who you're living with, the person who's been taking care of your kids, who's been taking care of you, who's been taking care of your bills, all of that stuff, your doctor bills. I'll tell you how it resonates with you. You know, almost as if you've been 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 a, a kept person, male or female. You know, that person's been taking very good care of you. So what do you want? What do you want to do, Aries? Hermit mode. You gotta think about it. Okay? Think about it. We got the hermit mode. We got you really, really considering thinking about it. You may be married to this person, or this person will ask you to marry them. But you have to decide your, where you want your complete happiness to be. With that person from the past who's trying to dig up in their ass, or you stand with the person you're with now out of pure necessity. You figure it out. All right? Okay. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Not for everybody. All right? You know who it's for.